I've got the Austin RV5 Plus set up behind me here. Everything you see is included in the kit and I'm gonna show you how I set it up. Let's get started. Hit it. G'day folks, Ben from Snowy's here down by the creek at the Brown Hill Creek Tourist Park on a beautiful sunny day and I've got the RV5 Plus in front of me here from Oztent. This is um, a, a, an upgrade from the traditional RV5 tents. It's got a few extras in there that you'll see as we set it up, but we are here to show you how to set it up and how to pack it away today. So we'll get into it. This is how the bag comes when you buy it. Austin State weighs about 26 kilos. My measurement's more like around about 30, so it's not the lightest unit by any means, but it has got a few extras in there. About two meters or just over two meters in long, uh, in length, by about 35, 40 centimeters and about sort of 25 to 30 centimeters in depth. But let me start by showing you what comes in the bag. Okay, so inside we get, there's an instruction manual, which has actually gone missing on this one. It's been set up before, but you get an instruction manual. Oh, there it goes. It's folded up in there and some repair fabrics as well. Um, you get a bag full of pegs and they're heavy duty pegs. They're, they're good pegs and all the guy ropes that you need to set it up. And you also get, let's see if they're in here, some little caps that go over the top of the awning pole spigots when you set it up. Oh, they've fallen out. This just gives a little bit of extra water protection to stop the water from running down through the spigot. That'll make more sense when we set it up shortly. You get a bag of poles here. Now you get extra poles in the RV5 Plus than you would in the traditional RV tent. So in here we have got two ridge poles, two 2.3 meter awning poles, two 1.9 meter awning poles, and a couple of poles for the fly as well, which is still down the bottom here, but we'll show you all that shortly. Then you get the main tent, and at the moment the fly sheet that comes with the tent is actually rolled up with the tent here, so you'll see that shortly, but you can take that off. That's the fly sheet that we can see there. You can take that off and store that separately. So to get started setting it up, first thing we're going to do is put this stuff aside, undo the strap that sits around the outside here, and we'll be able to set the frame up. So when we unroll this, if we think of this little triangle of fabric here as pointing where the door is going to go, so another door is going to be on this side here. From here, there's two arms that we fold out. Now, they're, they're labelled A and B. Now, B is the one that we, we pack away, when we pack it away, we roll B away second, so we fold that out first. Then we roll arm A, or fold arm A out, sorry. From there, we can step inside the tent and grab this little strap that's in on, up underneath here, and we can pull the tent up into place. Before I do that, what I'm gonna show is the fly sheet that's attached here, because it's actually zipped on Actually, it's not attached at all at the moment, but what we could do, when this stands up, we need to zip the fly on the top of the tent here. I can reach this when it's set up, it's about 1.9 meters high. If we don't want to do that, we don't want to reach over the top, we can actually attach this fly sheet while it's sitting down here. If we just find this zipper, silver side goes upwards, and I'll attach this now to show you that this can be a little bit easier. So if I find this zipper under here, attach this fly sheet. Now you don't have to use the fly sheet. It does help with condensation, also helps reduce heat inside the tent. If we zip this on here now, it's gonna save reaching over the tent after to put it on where it's just a little bit out of reach. To do that zip up, there's Velcro tabs here. One, second one in the middle here, two and three. And that just creates a flap over the top of this zipper here. So the water's gonna run over and away. Now, if we step back into the middle of the tent here, we grab this tab that I mentioned before, we can now pull the frame up. As you pull it, just make sure it comes up evenly. And once it's upright, we need to step inside the tent. And I'm gonna hold the top with one arm up here. And I've got to reach across to these poles here. And it could be easy with two people because someone can do each side. We've got to invert these poles backwards. We'll do that on the other side as well. And that's the frame in place, or almost in place. One other thing we want to do while we're inside here is grab these Velcro tabs here that are situated on the wall. We want to loop that around the frame here. That does two things. It stops this wall from flapping around too much. It also stops this arm from inverting and the tent collapsing down. Do that on both sides. All right, so the frame's in place. We just got to kick these corners out a little bit so that it comes rigid across the base here. And then we can go around and put pegs in these corners here. So I've got a loop here. We just come around to the side here. We've got 
Another peg point here, which we can use, we don't have to. And then the most important one is this peg point at the rear here. So there's this extra fab of fabric with the RV5 plus tents. The frame finishes here. And then you get this extra floor space out the back here. Plus some extra peg, um, tabs here. Once we peg them out, it just helps to pull this fabric up and away to create a bit of extra internal space inside the tent. So we've got potentially six right around the base, four more, I think it's four more across the back here. And that's our tent pegged down. We can then peg the fly out. Before I do that, I just wanna show you some of the features that are sort of underneath the fly here. Now I'm gonna take a shortcut today. I'm not gonna set up the guy ropes, but there are guy ropes contained within their little pockets. One here, same on the opposite side. Another one here at the back corner. Suggest you always use the guy ropes when you've got the tent set up for a long time. It adds heaps of stability to the tent. Um, it's gonna be pretty rock solid with those in place. You have got the skylight in underneath here with the RV plus tent. So we've got a mesh panel here that's rolled up at the top there. Now we can open this mesh panel and adjust that from the inside. So, so we don't need to worry about that now. What you might wanna think about before you peg the fly out though is how you want this rear window set up. This needs to be rolled up for pack away. At the moment that's open, if we want to close that, it might be easier to do this now. You can crawl in underneath the fly and do it, but if you want to close that up straight away, just do it now before you peg the fly out. And then I will peg the fly out. Now the first thing I'm going to do is put these three guy ropes in across the back. Now if we grab these poles that don't have any markings on them, they don't say ridge pole or 1.9 meters or anything, they're just plain poles. They go in through this eyelet here from underneath, that up through there, extend it out. Now all these do, is create a bit of clearance between the fly sheet and the tents here. I'll fold that back, we can see we've got a bit of clearance there. Once that's pulled tight across the other side there, creates this gap in here. This is really important for condensation. It's a single skin tent. If it's a cold night, if you've got the fly and the condensation is gonna occur here and not inside the tent. This also reduces the temperature inside the tent when it's really hot. So it is important. Probably one of the best accessories you can have comes included with the RV35 Plus. And there's two guy ropes on each side for these flaps out the side of the fly that just create a bit of shelter over the side windows. Four pegs, four guy ropes, and that's our fly all set up. Once we've done that, that'll be the main portion of the tent ready. Okay, so we've got the back portion of the tent set up now to our awning. So we'll grab all the poles that we need for this. So in here, we've got two bridge poles, which are the poles that run across the top or, or to create the peak. Two 2.3 meter awning poles, which create our peak in the middle and two 1.9 meter awning poles which sit at the front. A couple of guy ropes, a couple of pegs. You could use more guy ropes and pegs if you like. I'm just gonna use uh, two at the moment. It's nice and calm here today. So to get started on that, roll this awning down. This needs to be rolled up for pack up. So we always need to roll it down. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is put the ridge pole in the front here, this ridge pole, there are Velcro tabs here to secure this ridge pole in the front. I'll use the 1.9 meter awning poles and I'll just sort of rest that in place low down. It's a bit easier if you've got a second set of hands, um, but I'm doing it by myself. So I'll just keep it low and so it supports itself. I'm just finding it a little bit awkward to do this by myself here. Normally I would use this middle guy rope here and peg that out just to keep a bit of um, tension on this here. So they kind of sit in place while I put everything in, in um, all the poles and guy ropes in place. This guy has gone missing, I'm not sure what's happened to it. So I'll do the best I can, but before I go any further, I just wanna show you these orange caps that go over the top of the spigot here, and then the guy rope sits over the top of that. That just creates a little bit of extra water protection to stop the water from sneaking in down past that brass eyelet there. So just one extra thing that the RV Plus has over the regular RV range. I'll just peg this out loosely for now. We can tighten it all up later. Okay, now I'm gonna put the center poles in now to create sort of a peak in the middle here. There's some eyelets that feature partway along here. So that's for these taller awning poles, 2.3 meter poles, and the second ridge pole. So this ridge pole is gonna go along the top like this. Once again, a whole lot easier with a second set of hands, but I'll do as best I can just by myself. Now, I'll extend these out. I won't go to full height yet. I'll just keep it to a height that's manageable. I'll put that through there, stand this up so that it stays in place. And then I'll make my way over to the other side. Now we could, if we wanted, before we extend this right up, go and put some more of these little orange caps on this point here and another guy up on top there. I'm not gonna do that today because I'm taking shortcuts so I can do this quickly. Um, but if you did that, plus all the guy ups on the tent, it's gonna be really sturdy. So from here, I can go around and just extend all the poles up, adjust the guy ups and we'll be all set up. 
And that's the tent all set up, awning's good to go. The only other th option we've got is to duck in underneath here. Now, once again, this might have been easier to do before we put the fly on, but we zip this closed before for full weather protection. If we want, there's actually three guy ropes attached to this window at the back here. So we can actually unzip the sides and peg this out as a bit of a weather protective wing. So if we weren't using the fly, we could peg this out like this and it's gonna give us rain protection over this window while still allowing ventilation. And there's plenty of sort of overlap here. So it's just one other setup option that you've got. And also obviously the skylight on the top there, you can adjust, but you can do that from the inside. So that's how to set up the RV5 Plus from Oz10. I've set that up in full. Everything you saw here today to set this up comes with the kit. You can make adjustments, drop this down if you like. You can set this up flat so that it extends further out. You've got a few different options. Leave the fly off if you want. A really versatile and tough tent. I did that by myself. Certainly easy with a second set of hands, but perfectly manageable with one. Pack up is just as easy. We'll start by taking the awning down. When you take your awning poles off, just make sure you don't lose the little orange caps. They'll pop off and disappear and you'll forget about them. Once the awning's down, there's three things that we want to make sure we've got rolled up before we pack the whole tent up. Firstly, this awning at the front here needs to be rolled up against the end. Reason being that there is a little stiffener bar that features in here to kind of give it a little bit of rigidity so it doesn't flap around too much. If we don't roll that up before we pack the tent up, it's kind of going to bend as we fold the frame and that bends really hard to get out of those stiffener bars. So we want to make sure firstly this one is rolled up. Secondly, the window at the back, we also want to go and make sure that's rolled up. And also the skylight that features on the top here, the outer waterproof layer also needs to be rolled up. They all feature that same sort of little stiffener bar that wants to be nice and secure up against the frame here when we fold it away. The next thing is the fly sheet. So we're gonna leave it attached to the tent because you can roll it up with the fly attached. So all we need to do is pull the pegs out and just leave the fly hanging. You can roll the guy ropes up if you like or just throw them inside the tent as you fold it up at a later stage. Grab the poles out as you go, put all them together afterwards. So pull all of these pegs out and once you've got the back of the fly unpegged, it's probably a good opportunity to just jump underneath and make sure that you've got this rear window rolled up. See, at the moment I've got that closed. So I wanna actually get that fly to stay up there. Roll this up, zip it on the sides. So that it's secured up the top here. Undo both zippers. like this for pack up. So that way, when this folds up, this rigid section here sits against another portion of the frame that's not gonna fold, so you're not gonna fold that stiffener bar. And then if I have a bit of a look underneath here as well, you can see I've already got the skylight folded up. I'll just pull this other guy wrap out first. So we've got the the skylight rolled up here as well. So one, two, and the awning at the front rolled up before you pack the tents away. Just leave the fly hanging loose like this over the back though. That'll all tuck in once we pull all the tent down. Okay, now I'm gonna pull a few of the pegs out of the base down. Now, if it was a windy day, I'd suggest leaving a few of these pegs in place. In particular, at least four pegs in the four corners so that if the wind does pick up, it doesn't lift your tent up and blow it across the campsite. But because it's nice and calm here today, I'm gonna to take all the pegs out. I haven't got one in there at the moment, but take all the pegs out of the corners and these four across the back here. Once I've got them out, we're ready to actually collapse the whole frame down. Okay, pegs are out, we're ready to collapse the frame down. So to do that, we first need to step inside the tent. To collapse it down once we're in here, first we wanna just hold our hand up against the frame at the top here, just to support it so it doesn't fall back. And then we need to reach across here, and this is where it could be handy to have a second set of hands because you kinda of need to do two things at once. I've got to undo this Velcro tab and invert this pole here. As soon as we do that, this side of the tent is going to want to collapse down, but don't let that fall down without the other side going with it. So we creep across the other side here now, undo this Velcro tab here as well, collapse that down, and now the tent's going to start falling backwards. So we can poke our head back out here now, and just hold this strap if we like, and just let the tent collapse down. You want to try and let it go evenly on both sides so it falls down nice and flat and let it collapse down there. Now from here, before we fold all the frame in, we just wanna pull all this extra fabric back up inside the tent here. So just put your hands in underneath and grab all of this and invert it back inside the frame. All the fly sheet, 
that extra flap of fabric at the back, put all that inside so that it's not loose fabric that we're trying to deal with later. And lay it as flat as you can in underneath here as well. The flatter it is, the easier, or the neater it's gonna fold. Pull it in at the sides here as well, tuck all that inside so we haven't got too much hanging out. Put the guy ropes inside within the parameters of the frame. Just a couple of seconds spent here will make packing the tent up a whole lot easier. Okay, so we've got it nice and flat. We've got most of the fabric tucked in around the sides. We've got to fold these arms in now. So we start with A, so side A. Fold this across and tuck it. Shouldn't have to force it. Just give it a bit of a wiggle. Tuck it up against the top there. Just straighten this out, flatten this out. Like a nice neat triangle there. And then side B, you can fold up. You might just need to jiggle side A a little bit so it comes up nice and neat next to itself. And you'll end up with this triangle out the front here. From this here, can fold up over the top. And I have thankfully left my strap in the same spot it was when I unpacked the tent. Therefore, I can just grab it and put it straight around the tent and it's ready to go back in the bag. Now, putting the tent in the bag, I find it easier to put the bag over the tent rather than the, the tent in the bag. So, just tuck it under a little bit. And the bag being long one way, you kind of need to match it up with the shape of the tent here. So, just tuck it underneath and then roll the tent upwards onto the bag. Now with the fly sheet on, it's gonna be a little bit tighter to get this in the bag, but I didn't fold it up as best I could, but it will fit reasonably comfortably. Well, now that fit firmly in the bag. It's a little hard to get the zip up on this end here. I'd say it's pretty easy by yourself, certainly easy with a second set of hands, because it is a fairly heavy tent, but once it's set up, it's really sturdy. Packing it up, look a little bit tight to get it back in the bag. If you like to make it easier, just take that fly off first and pack that up separately. You can check these out online at stowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. Got any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for all of our latest and greatest info or check out some other videos like this one down here.